Hi, TC kids! Welcome back! Yay! It's time for us to learn again! Oh, if you're new to my channel, my name is Teacher Celine. Can everybody say hi, Teacher Celine? And welcome to my online learning channel. <laughs> From our last episode, we read a Halloween theme book. If you want to read the book again, kindly check the description box for the link. For today's lesson, we have a simple art activity for Halloween that you can easily do at home. You know what kids? Doing arts and crafts are important because they help improve your fine motor skills, improve hand-eye coordination, enhance creativity, and boost self-confidence and expression. Halloween is a perfect time to get crafty. But before we do our art activity, let's start our day with a fun song. I'll be teaching a song about Halloween. If you have any instruments, please get them now. The title of the song is... Here we go, Trick or Treat. Don't worry, TC kids, this will be really easy. Just follow Teacher Celine. Get ready! One, two, three, go! Let's march! Here we go, trick or treat! Here we go, trick or treat! Here we go, trick or treat! On a Halloween night, let's wear our costume now! Let's wear our costume now! Let's pretend to be a bat! Let's wear our costume now! Oh, here we go, trick or treat! Here we go, trick or treat! Here we go, trick or treat! On a Halloween night, let's wear our costume now! Let's wear our costume now! Let's pretend to be a ghost! Let's wear our costume now! Oh, here we go, trick or treat! Here we go, trick or treat! Here we go, trick or treat! On a Halloween night, let's get some candies now. Let's get some candies now. Don't forget to brush your teeth to get those pearly whites. Oh, here we go, trick or treat. Here we go, trick or treat. Here we go, trick or treat. On a Halloween night, too. Yay! We will do two art activities for today. Are you ready? Let me show you now. For our first art activity, we will do a bat tissue roll. Does it look cute? Next is, we're gonna make a sponge paint ghost. Are you guys excited? Yay! Let's start. Here are the materials that we will need. Tissue roll, black paint, black paper, scissors, glue, googly eyes or use white paper to draw the eyes, white paint or paper cut off for the mouth of the bag. Step number one, start painting the tissue roll black. Step number two, let the paint dry completely before going on to the next step. Step number three, let's push in one end of the tissue roll. Step number four, draw and cut out some bat wings using black paper. Let's start 
cutting. Be careful when you cut. Kindly ask an adult to help you. Step number five. Glue the middle of the bat wings to the tissue roll. Step number six, glue or paste googly eyes. If you don't have googly eyes, it's okay. You can draw two big eyes on a piece of white paper. Step number seven, paint the mouth with white paint. You can add two sharp teeth to make it look scary. Next art activity, sponge painted ghost craft. Here are the materials that we will need. Number one, ghost template. Kindly check the description box for the free template. Number two, black paper. Number three, white paint. Number four, white colored pencil for tracing. Number five, used sponge. Number six, scissors. Number seven, blue. Number eight, small paintbrush and three black circles. Step number one, download the ghost template. Again, kindly check the description box for the free template. Step number two, cut out the template. Be careful when you cut. Kindly ask an adult to help you. Next, use the template to outline the ghost onto the black paper. Step number three, cut a small rectangular shape of a normal size kitchen sponge for painting. To save on white paint, Brush the paint on the sponge. Next, dab it on the black paper.
While your white paint is drying, cut our eyes and mouth from a black paper or you can use googly eyes. Let's start cutting our ghost. Be careful when you cut. Kindly ask an adult to help you. So cute, right? That's the end of our fun art activity for today. I hope you enjoyed learning with Teacher Celine. Hope you can tag me on Facebook or Instagram so I can see your wonderful works. I'm so excited to see them. If you enjoyed this lesson, please don't forget to like and to subscribe to my channel. See you next time, kids! Happy Halloween!